and I'm also the coordinator of all of our summer music camps. And I'd like to, a, uh, like to welcome you to this grand concert for the Allstate Choral uh, camp that we've had this week. We've had an amazing time, we've had a lot of fun. Uh, we've hopefully learned a lot of music, and I know they have, you're about to hear that as well. Uh, but there's a couple of announcements that I need to make before we get started. Um, first of all, dorms are going to close 30 minutes right after this performance is over. We're going to shut down the dorms even on us. So if you have not yet picked up your students' belongings, please head over to the dorms immediately following the performance and pick those up so that you can check out. And then you can go enjoy all the wonderful sights and sounds of the Waco. Also, please turn off your cell phones so that we don't disrupt any of the wonderful music that you're going to hear on here on the stage. Um, so please turn those off and put them in a silent position. Um, now next, please allow me to introduce my colleague and the director of this camp, Baylor's Associate Director of Choral Activities, an amazing educator, musician, and my friend, Dr. Lennon Yackel. Thank you so much, and welcome to this concert. It's always, it is the pinnacle of our week, and uh, we're excited to share this with you. I also bring welcoming wishes from our Director of Choral Activities, Dr. Alan Raines, who unfortunately could not be with us this week due to some prior professional commitments. Before you, you see 285 of the best choral musicians in the state of Texas. <laughs> Many of these students have been in previous all-state choirs. Some have been in regional choirs, area or district choirs. They are talented, they are bright, articulate, creative, and have a work ethic which is astounding. I'm always amazed at their capacity and their enthusiasm for learning, and I was not disappointed this week. They were truly wonderful. Sometimes it is difficult for me to think of this week as merely a summer camp. The musicianship and talent of this group rivals many of the all-state choirs in other states. That's very true. This week has been filled with music making, and we are honored that these students have chosen to spend these past few days of their lives making music here at Baylor University. Our goal is to teach all state music, to offer classes on topics of interest to these young singers, and of course to have fun in the process. I think that we've accomplished all of those goals this week. These students have spent hours in sectional rehearsals as well as full rehearsals learning this music. They have also had the opportunity to work with some of our Baylor faculty in elective classes on composition, conducting, vocal health, diction, preparing for the auditions, sight reading, and leading music and worship. Some of them have even had individual voice lessons with our voice faculty. Now if you add to that a trip to see How to Train the Dragon 2, an awesome talent show, a game night, and Dr. Pepper floats, plus a little bit of sleep, you've really got a full week. So, I would like to make the following acknowledgments. Our Baylor faculty is listed in your programs. Dr. Randall, Randall Bradley, professor of church music and director of our men's choir, led a new elective class leading music and worship. And his name, unfortunately, was not listed under that grouping. So I wanted to thank him for his contribution this summer. Dr. Bradley, if you are here today, and would you please stand, and any of our other Baylor faculty members, would you please stand to be acknowledged? 